What's up guys, Aaron here and I got a little Blacklight Retribution um, on the PS4. Um, this was a PC game before it was ported over to the PS4, but this is my new favorite uh, FP, uh, first person shooter game. Um, it's free to play and a lot of people want to you know, say it's pay to play, like you have to purchase items in game to be good, but that's not true. And I'll show you guys that in, uh, in another video when I do I have some gameplay, but right now I just want to go through a quick little tutorial because this game is probably the most like customizable first person shooter I've ever played um, and for me this is far far better than Call of Duty, um, Titanfall, uh, Killzone. I do like Killzone a lot which I also have and I've played that and um, I wish I could, if you could take Killzone, and, like the maps and the graphics and everything um, and put it, combine it with this game and the functionality of this game and the customization of this game, it would be a 10 out of 10, like without a doubt, but um, this game is, is it's still really polished and everything. Uh, the maps and stuff aren't as like pretty as Killzone and as like deep, but it's still very good maps. Um, very fast paced game which I like um, but I'll talk about that more in another video but first I just want to show you the settings right now it's really um, cool how they have the settings and it's kind of unlike other games because obviously it has a general uh, settings game settings and all that's kind of you know that's just similar stuff but something I like right here is a crosshair and this will always be like on Call of Duty you have that kind of crosshair in the middle of your screen well you have the same thing on this game um, but you can totally customize it with tick marks how many tick marks there are from it, 1 all the way to 12 as you can see uh, I like to have it at 4 uh, and the length of the tick marks you can have like, obviously super long all the way down to short uh, you should have it around I think I have that too um, <coughs> you, you can rotate your crosshairs And you can have, let's see how, how like it shows up. Um, you can change the, the colors of it, all different colors, which I do like that. Uh, neutral, your neutral color, your friendly color, enemy color, and then you can go and change it to a different color if the enemy is far, like a long distance shot or whatever. whatever. Um, so I do like that, that is cool. Now the control, this is what I like right here, is the sensitivity, is that you can, and it took me a while to find the sensitivity that I really like, that works best for me, but um, like other, other first person shooters, the sensitivity is just either like 1 through 10 and that's it. Um, but here it breaks it down and it's two separate. Uh, sensitivity so you have your look sensitivity which is just like when you're running around looking up and down left and right um, and then <coughs> excuse me and then um, you can change your sensitivity for when you're ADSing you know so um, I like that it's awesome like when I look sensitivity I have low at 40 and then when I'm aiming down sights I have it at 70 which I like to have a little bit faster when I'm trying to uh, chase targets and stuff like that long distance so um, that's pretty cool like it's I wish other first person shooters had that um, and then of course you can um, customize your controller exactly how you like it um, they don't have preset um, controller functions like um, default southpaw tactical um, like you, like you, like other first-person shooters have, namely Call of Duty. On here, you can actually individually go through each function, each action, and bind it to a um, button on your controller. So how you can you can set up your controller exactly how you like it. That's awesome. I think every game should have that. So once again, if you start off playing this, it's free to play on the PS4. Get in and mess with the settings. And take the time to kind of um, 
you know, mess with it and, and find the right settings that work best for you. <coughs> now, how this works with the Mini Mart and stuff is you can buy these Z coins and it's going to be in the yellow. And I did purchase, I think, $10 worth because um, I had a gift card, but um, you don't have to do that. But they have sales, like once a week they update their Mini Mart with sales. So that's pretty cool. And with that, you just permanently unlock whatever you want. You don't have to wait to unlock it at a certain level. You just permanently unlock it forever. Um, now, it is in beta, and once it's out of beta, you will get all your Z coins back that you spent. So I, that's why you know, I had no problem purchasing, purchasing Z coins and then just buying stuff that I liked off the bat. Because when it's beta, when it's out of beta, which I can't wait for, this game is going to be the best game out. Um, you get all your your Z coins back, and I can re redistribute them with what I want. Uh, okay, so let's start off here on the top with your character. Now, um, this is the helmet I bought, but this is the one that you start off with. Uh, it's not bad, you know, it's your standard one. But what the helmet does is you can totally customize your character with a certain build that you want whether you want it to be a tank like high health but you're kinda of slow running wise um, speed wise or you can go with you know build someone who has low health but super fast kinda of running gun type character or try to find something in the middle the like honestly to be honest the character builds are pretty endless like I don't think you can just find one and be stuck on it um, I've tried most of these helmets out. I've rented them. Oh, another thing is that <coughs> I'll show you right here is that okay, so you can uh, purchase these items permanent right there with your Z coins for 250. Not that bad. And or with the game points that you earn at the end of each match, you can rent items to try them out before you per permanently unlock them if you want to do that. Now, it gives you option for one day three days or seven days and then it gives you the cost so it's not bad I mean you play this game all the time you really don't have to ever spend money uh, I think on average um, on average if you play a whole match win you get about 160 GP so in like two matches you get a helmet basically so I mean you play this all the time it's not a big deal you don't have to pay money um, and I've seen on the PC version you can actually save up the free gamer points that you get at every match and actually use it to permanently unlock. It doesn't give you the option now because it's in beta, but from what I understand, once it's out of beta and it's an actual game, you'll be able to do that. So once again, you don't have to spend money. Um, so going over the chess pieces, this is how it works too, is that you get to totally customize your, uh, your character with your stamina, run speed, and health. Now the circles, the circles are affect your gear slots. I got the one with two two full circles, and that means I get two extra. I get two gear slots for grenades and tactical stuff like that. Uh, now, if you have this one right here with one circle open, one filled in, you only get one gear slot to fill with the grenade instead of two. And they have ones with zero. On um, that one, obviously, you're running salmon speed is really high. So, but I like to have grenades and tactical uh, equipment, so I went with the two. And the same goes with the legs, you can purchase different legs and that also does the same thing. That's no big deal, it's just a trophy and yeah, beta trophy, no big deal. You can purchase camos, cool, and then also taunts, which I like about this game is you can, you can taunt at people when you kill them and at the end of the match. And these ones you have to buy, but I like the airplane one right here, pretty cool. Uh, all right, so that's your character. They also have pre-made characters that you can't customize, but they come fully equipped with gear and guns and everything like that in their own health and armor. So going down to the gear slots, this is what is pretty cool too: is that you can actually purchase these items like a uh, barricade, but they, you know it's a riot shield. Ammunition pod, which you can drop ammo for your teammates, repair um, tool that allows you to restore mechanical devices. But my favorite one right here is a heal injector. You can f heal your your teammates with 100 100 health points, 
or heal yourself with 50 health points. Uh, and you can also damage opponents too, or the enemy, but I use it to heal myself. Um, the health in this game is different than other games. You don't, you get a certain amount of health points, so uh, say you have 200 health points, or hit, really hit points, um, and you get in a gunfight, and you get all the way down to say 10 hit points or whatever. You will only regen your health after the gunfight half to whatever half of your health was. So it regen to 100. You don't get your full health back. Um, so what you need to do is, if you have this, you just heal yourself, or you can go to a depot and buy health to get fully regen, which is I like to do. I like to hang around the health of the depots and buy uh, buy health. But as you can see, I mean, you can you can have uh, a cloak. Um, Hard, hard, uh, hard suit battle mode, which it, let's see, hard suit pilots are provided with 10 seconds of protection, negative 50% damage, and no damage from flames. So, when you are in your hard suit, which I forgot to mention, this game had Titans before Titanfall, you know, um, you get a hard suit, which is basically a Titan falls from the sky and everything. And so, when you have this equipped, it, it, it um, when you're in your hard suit, is when it's used mostly. So you get HRV cloak, HRV ping, you can get a ping. Where is this one? Where's that one? Oh, hard suit ping. So right here when you're hard suit, you can ping to find, find out uh, where people are. So lots of customization you can do with your guy and your character there. And then these slots is for your grenades and stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, all different kinds of grenades, tomahawks, um, stun mines, proximity mines, throwing knives. Um, this right here protects you from um, fire, flame damage, toxic damage, stuff like that. So that's cool. Um, and right here, your depot. Now, this is just going to be like your score streaks. Um, you earn in game points as well to purchase at the depot. And this is what you can, you can unlock. So, uh, right here is a grenade launcher, uh, minigun, hard suit, decoy, katana whatever whatever turret AI bot and all that so you can unlock them purchase them put them in your slots right here and then when you get the depot that's what you got so right here this is my gun you always start off with an AR AR is unlocked automatically and from there this is what I also like about this game is why it's so customizable unlike let's say Call of Duty you get a scar and that's it right you can put maybe a red dot extended mags um, whatever else on that silencer and that's it, you know, you just kind of standard, you don't get to customize other than that, and it's not even really customized, whereas this game, you can create any variation of assault rifle that you want. Um, on the bottom right, it'll tell you the damage, the fire rate, you know, the reload time, your scoping time, your aim, spread aim, recoil, all of that, your run speed when, when you had this gun attached. And so they have, uh, they have your, your basic uh, assault rifle, and then from there you can totally customize your muzzle, and then you can see on the right, it will totally change your the gun statistics on it and how it's going to perform. From all the way down to your barrel, you can change your barrel, which is going to increase damage, decrease damage, recoil, spread aim, and everything, run speed. Um, magazines, you can go with extended mags, you know, more of a quick mags, you can get with really big extended mags right here. You can change your scopes. You can change your stock in your stock, you know, it's gonna affect your scoping time, your spread, aim spread, your recoil, your run speed, and all of that. So I mean look at all the different stocks that you can go through. And it's gonna change your gun suit. So and then on top of that you get these weapon tags, which is pretty cool. It's kinda of like a perk that you get, and uh, right here this one you you, all, you start off with this one and it slightly increases weapon swap speed, so uh, the one I like the most right here is a three of a kind, and it's going to slightly increase your accuracy. Um, I value the accuracy. So, and then, you know, right here, reduce recoil, increase stamina, movement speed, so forth and so forth, damage. So, you can go through, get different weapon, weapon tags, and put it on your gun. So, I like that all in the sea. And there's tons of different guns. I mean, you get a submachine gun, and then for every gun, you can fully customize that gun. So... Submachine guns, light machine guns, combat rifle, which is like a foul, burst fire SMG, which is kind of like the comb, I guess you would say. 
or Chickcom or whatever it was from Black Ops 2. Um, different assault rifles, burst fire assault rifles, bolt action assault uh, rifle, uh, which is not quite a sniper, but it's a bolt action, which is pretty fun. Um, you get a bullpup, AK-47, another LMG. The anti-material rifle is going to be your sniper rifle in this game. Uh, heavy assault rifle, and then your tactical SMG. So, and then you go over and you can you can change all that stuff for your guns too. And then same with your um, your sidearm. These are all fully customizable as well. Shotguns, revolvers, machine pistols. So there you have it. Very customizable. Um, I highly recommend this game over any other first-person shooter. Um, so yeah, try it out. You guys all need to get PS4s and play with me. So um, the next video I'll have, I'll show you guys that you don't really have to purchase anything. I'll just play with uh, your standard uh, loadout and, uh, and show you guys what the gameplay is like. Alright, thanks.